Hello, everybody. Lucas Hanneman here. I'm back at Sounds Good Music today in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada, with a guitar that is absolutely fantastic. I figured I'd start by playing in the key of F because the guitar is fantastic. This is an E6 SSTC, one of the newer models in these past few years from our friends at Eastman out of Beijing. Um, man, these guitars are absolutely fantastic. This, this model has been very, very, very popular. Of course, it holds resemblance to a guitar that we are all familiar with, you know, a nice historic model from the big G. But uh, I got to say, this guitar, it's, it sounds really, 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 really good. Uh, we've got a thermo cured Sitka spruce top on this guitar. Um, we have this beautiful fire stripe pickguard here. Um, we have lovely mahogany back and sides, beautiful, solid mahogany with this very nice uh, binding, like white binding, which is which is great. And uh, mahogany neck, 24.75 inch scale length. And I've just got to say, you know, there's a lot of beautiful resonance in this instrument. Uh, if I just play finger style, I got to say for a mahogany guitar, there is so much resonance and over. There's a lot of overtones happening here. This sounds fantastic. It rings out. The sustain is, is marvelous. You know, part of that could be this thermo cured Sitka spruce top here on this instrument. It, it, it you know, it just, uh, what thermo curing is, is, is it's taking the top of a guitar and putting it in an oxygen free oven at a temperature of about 300 degrees and roasting it essentially. Um, which gives it, you know, just a, a lot of um, open sound for a brand new guitar. And this guitar certainly has that, you know. Uh, I have an E6 OM with a regular Sitka Spruce top. And I've got to say, you know, over, over the past three years, that guitar has opened up and started to sound more like this does right out of the gate. So I think there is something to this TC thing, you know, this thermo curing. And the 24.75 inch scale length is very slinky and very nice. Like the neck feels fantastic. I would say it's a nice rounded profile, which, you know, that's what I'm used to from Eastman. It's not a small neck. It's not too huge, but it's definitely not small. Um, we've got a tighter uh, inch and 11 16th inch nut width on this guitar, or at least that's what it feels like. And um, it's very, very comfortable for the left hand as well. Um, I like the slope shouldered aspect. It's, it's got a very nice physique, this guitar, you know, it certainly sounds good. Now, if I pick up a pick and maybe go into drop D tuning, so we can hear something a bit more on the deep side of things. So loud.
You know, for a slope shoulder guitar, you know, these guitars are kind of known for being more fundamental, more dry. This guitar certainly has, I'd say, a more modern voice than what I think of when I think of a, a slope shoulder guitar. And I like it. Personally, I really do like it. I like a little bit more overtone goodness from my mahogany, personally. But just to show you guys before we sign off that this guitar can do the finger style kind of folky thing, let's just do a little bit of that. And remember, again, this guitar is at Sounds Good Music here in Ottawa, Ontario. Uh, Brett, the owner here, is a, is a great guy, and he'll ship these guitars all over the world. So I'll provide his contact info in the, uh, in the section down below, um, the description, and yeah. Yes. Well, thank you again, everybody, for watching. Please let me know in the comment section down below, have you ever tried an E6 SSTC from Eastman Guitars, and do you like this slope-shouldered beauty as much as I do? We'll see you guys again next Tuesday. Thanks for watching.